Today I'm in Bonita at Ruth's farm showing y'all our high density vertical vermiponic system. Our vertical growing systems that run on worms. So conventionally uh, vertical growing systems run on hydroponics which essentially uses synthetic nutrients um, to feed the plants. What we're doing here is we're diverting uh, organic waste streams from your kitchen, allowing worms to eat these up and using the tea that these worms produce to feed our plants. Here is the powerhouse of our growing operation. These are the worm taps where all the nutrients are being produced. One of these worm taps can feed up to about four murals, four eight foot murals. Um, so the way these are designed, we have five um, different drawers and water cycling through them. Each drawer is where you put your food waste or your roots for the worms to consume. RO water or city water, if you don't have access to RO water, um, feeds into these murals. That water cycles through all of these trays about twice a day. The reservoir is constantly being aerated and twice a day, this uh, worm tea um, that is being drawn out of each and every drawer will discharge into the reservoir that feeds all of the murals. This is what makes the worm tap so different from a lot of conventional hydroponic systems. We're not just feeding them uh, nitrogen, potassium, and, uh, <laughs> and phosphorus. Um, we're feeding them those macronutrients with a whole bunch of micronutrients and soil bacteria and fungi that ensure that our plant is resilient, is healthy, and is nutritious. The worm tap provides the bulk of the nutrients, all of the potassium, all of the phosphorus, all of the micronutrients, and a large portion of the nitrogen. Um, the goal of the worm tap is to integrate your kitchen waste with your growing operation to provide a full circle in this ecology of your homestead. Since we don't want to feed our worm tap directly um, to the lettuce, in order to ensure that our system is resilient and has all of the, the right concentration of nutrients for the plants, these worm taps feed into what we call a teapot, essentially a reservoir in which a lot of the nitrogen conversion happens and where um, the nutrients get diluted to the right concentration and the right pH such that the plants can take them up. Here we are at the teapot. This is where the nutrients live. Essentially, we have the pumps that feed our systems and the same drains um, that the systems feed back into. So what we have here is essentially a bioreactor. Um, we have all of the nutrients flowing into here from the worm taps, coming to the right dilution, and then being fed into um, the food murals. We need this as a reservoir that recycles all of the water um, and nutrients that are flowing through our systems. Um, so it's constantly running throughout the day. And here is where our nutrients reach the right concentration such that the plants can optimally, optimally feed off of them. And it is where our nitrogen conversion happens, where our ammonia turns into the nitrates that the plants can digest and turn into those rich, nutritious leaves that uh, we then eat. The water flow for these systems essentially works this way. There's a pump that feeds uh, our nutrient solution up and into the first four, um, yeah, the first four channels. These channels, the first four channels drain into these um, tubes and two channels worth of solution will drain into each, um, 
each bottom channel. So we'll have two channels on the bottom that will drain into our drain line. Um, and so all the nutrients that two of the top lines don't consume will be consumed by one of the bottom um, mirror, uh, channels. These channels are what are called NFT channels and we buy them from a company called Crop King that specializes in hydroponic um, systems. The frames we build in-house and we build them ourselves out of cedar, which is naturally rot resistant and therefore perfectly suited for outdoors. And over time, we'll take a nice uh, color and sort of add an organic touch to the, the plastic color of these uh, channels. The drains are made from uh, PVC that you could easily find at any um, home improvement store. So our food murals have five channels. Um, they're eight foot wide and each channel holds about 12 plants. So in total, each mural holds 72 plants. So this system is unique um, because it's perfectly adapted to the San Diego climate and it's perfectly adapted for small spaces where you want to grow a lot of food. Um, essentially, we can grow lettuce year round in San Diego, which most farmers wouldn't even attempt to do uh, on the ground, mostly because lettuce bolts uh, over the summer. So as you can see, one of the things that we feel really proud of is the amount of different lettuce varieties that we have on display. This not only enhances the aesthetic qualities of these murals, but enhances the quality of your own salads. These murals can grow everything from romains to um, butter crunch lettuces to Merlot. A lot of different heirloom varieties will do really well in these systems. And it's a wonderful opportunity to mix up your salads and have a large variety of greens that you can't generally get at the store. And the other unique element to, um, to these systems is that they can be integrated with in the ground growing as we've done here uh, where we have kales on one side and tomato on the other side and in a sh small space can produce a high volume of food and nutritious high quality food in san diego water efficiency is a major consideration and irrigating lettuce crops they take up a lot of water in the soil and it's not efficiently used what this is, these systems do is that they recycle the water. So the water is only being lost as it's being taken up by the plants and evaporated off the leaves versus being evaporated off of the soil. Um, so because we're recycling all our water, we save about 80% more water than you could uh, growing lettuce in the ground. For harvest with these murals, we encourage cut and come again methods because you can ostensibly get about three harvests using cut and come again and then harvest the head um, on the fourth harvest and get quite a, an amount of lettuce per plant. This makes for a much more efficient use of the space since small seedlings do take a while to reach maturity. Seedlings are transplanted into these systems from Alpots at about a week of, of age. And from there, they live in these systems until they're, they're fully mature. If you're trying to optimize your operation, um, we would encourage also setting up nursery murals at which stage the seedlings could reach about two, three weeks of maturity before they get transplanted into the systems that are gonna be encouraging the majority of the, the growth. When the crop is done, um, you pull out these channels, remove the tops, and clean out the, uh, the roots. And then they'll be ready for the next set of crops. When we designed these systems, we had a couple considerations in mind. One was ease of harvest. A lot of the time, um, for people, it's really taxing and difficult to be harvesting lettuce on the ground. In fact, this has been a major issue in lettuce growing operations in Northern California where farm workers uh, suffer a lot of injuries from constant harvesting on the ground. We wanted to make these systems accessible throughout uh, generations. So young kids and older folks could 
harvest and use these systems without a lot of strain in their body. It's comfortable, it's inviting to, um, to use. Other design considerations um, were essentially trying to grow food in San Diego. We have a lot of sun, but we don't have a lot of growing space in urban homes. Um, and these systems don't need that much space. Um, they work off of the food scraps from your kitchen and are constantly producing a high turnaround of nutritious food. Um, lettuce grown in these systems takes about a week less to, uh, to reach full maturity versus on the ground since the nutrients are easily available and they are perfectly designed to, um, to suit the needs of the crops that we're growing in these systems. Aside from being integrated into this essentially suburban backyard, these could be perfectly suited for the side of your house if it has the right sun exposure. In your front lawn, you could use it to enclose it and create a sort of oasis of, uh, of lettuce and food around your outdoor patio area or eating space. We could see these on the sides of restaurants. Um, we could see these in a number of locations so long as you have the, the right sun exposure. If you'd like to collaborate with us or feel like these systems might work for you, please reach out to us at darknectar.org. Um, we have worm taps for sale and hopefully down the line we'll be able to um, to have these systems up for sale as well.